In the last chapter of Fairy Tale, we left off with the whole Eileen versus Urza thing actually reaching its resolution where we actually saw Eileen stab herself simply because she did not have it in her to slay her own daughter, Urza. Now we have the spoilers for chapter 520 of Fairy Tale. From the looks of it, this chapter is going to be pretty good. We don't really have many panels as far as the spoilers for this chapter go. However, what we do have actually has to do partially with Eileen. Now, this is something that me and a few friends were actually predicting would take place if Eileen were to die, much like she did, and it actually happens within this chapter. This being the fact that Universe 1 and the effects were apparently dispelled after Eileen died. So, for one, this could actually possibly solidify the fact that, yes, Eileen Belserion is dead. However, I do say possibly because we really never know, seeing as, hey, it may be dispelled because of the fact that she's unable to put forward enough magic to actually keep Universe 1 in effect at this current point in time. As well, even though we don't have the panels detailing it, I'm assuming that for the most part, the effects of Universe 1, for example, the change in the landscape of Fiori, could actually have possibly been reverted as well. On the side as well, if you guys remember, Eileen actually turned the princess, Princess Hishui, into a mouse many, many chapters ago, which that has actually now been reverted as well. So essentially, all the damage that Eileen has done has actually been reverted. Continuing on past that, the last thing that we received in regards to spoilers has to do with Natsu. Now, this chapter was definitely hyped up to be a Natsu chapter, and we actually do have two panels in these spoilers regarding Natsu himself. First panel, actually consisting of both the dragon and the demon seed actually self-destructing and breaking breaking within Natsu's body, and this panel alone has really led to a lot of questions for me. For starters, isn't the dragon seed like the seed that actually represents a dragon slayer in its entirety? And if this is the case like I think it is, is Natsu even capable of utilizing his magic now that he's lost the dragon seed? On top of that, the demon seed is now gone as well, so... Is END gone along with it? A lot of questions I have coming from this, and I do believe that all of these questions will actually be answered in the future of Fairy Tale. And the last panel actually consists of Natsu waking up with Lucy on top of him, of course. But yeah, Natsu is now out of his comatose, dreamish like state, and this has me so hyped for the future of Natsu's character, to be completely honest with you guys. Nevertheless, that's all we have for the spoilers in regards to this week. I am really excited to read this chapter, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Peace.